In this module, I want to have a look at how you can create, edit, move and view different styles. So, on the ribbon at the moment, you can see the styles group with all the styles that are selected to be shown in this area here. Now, it's normal at the moment. Normal is whatever your default font is and your paragraph spacing, heading 2, heading 1. All of these can be edited and changed. So, for example, heading style 2, if I right-click on that and select, select modify, I've changed that to this font and that size and bold, and you can see all the information there that this style is about. And it's if I change a style or edit a style, I can get it to apply to this, this document only or all new documents based on this template. It's totally up to you how you do that. I'll cancel that off. Now, heading style 1, I haven't changed, so I'll just modify that. Uh, I don't want it to be blue, for example. Let's go back to automatic. I do want it to be bold, but I don't want it to be that big. 12 point, and I also want that to be the same as heading style 2. So it's a style. It allows you to do table of contents and things like that. Um, and I personally like that sort of style. Now, automatically update in this document and apply every to every document on this based on this template, which is what I want. So I click OK to that. And then if I do Control N for a new document, you can see that heading style is the same. It's been updated for every new document. So once you've edited it in there, that's it. It's, it's changed. Now, to create a new style, there's a couple of ways of doing it. If you drop this arrow down there, you've got create a style there, apply a style, but clear formatting. So let's just this, do this one, create a style. So it's asking you for a name and then, well, giving you the preview there and you've got to modify it in there. Now cancel that off. Now if I do my name, for example, and let's say I make that red and bold, and then go into this option and create a style. I'll call this Steve. And there's a preview of it. Now, I can still modify it if I don't like what I've done there. But basically, by doing it like this, you can see what the, the style is going to be. So I'll just click OK to that. And then it sits there. So if I then press Enter a couple of times, let's go back to normal. So I'm back to normal, and then say I want that normal text I've just done there to be style Steve. I just click on that, and that's a quick way of doing a style. But there is another way of doing a style um, that's apply styles. So that's going to give you a list of styles that are already existing. So there is a list there, Steve. So I don't really need to do this if I want to get Steve because I can see it there, likewise with normal. but. If you scroll down this list here, there's hundreds of styles that are preset or preloaded, all sorts of things that you can see. That's a table style, I don't really want that, but you, you can see that there are hundreds of styles already loaded, including the ones that you create. Now, I personally think that probably is the quickest way to create a style and have it um, on, the, on the ribbon there. But you can also go and expand this styles group by clicking this little arrow there to activate this box if I move it across a little bit again you've got a list of the styles but this time it's not a complete list it's just a list of styles that are available in this document now why is that why and why isn't all the styles showing well if you go into options you can it's on recommended so I can change that to in use current document or all styles so I click on all styles select how the list is sorted alphabetical I'll put this back later on I'll leave everything else okay so now this list has grown a lot so you can see there's a lot more styles available there so in options I'll just put that back to recommended and recommended so you can see that and I'll click OK to that and it just shrinks it back down again now to create your your own little style you need to click on this a there and then so we'll come up with this box so I'll call this sax so it's picking up what it can see already type is going to be a paragraph I don't want it based on Steve I want it based on normal and then I can edit this so let's say that um, I want this font to be 
Algerian, which is a weird font to be honest, and then just pick it a bit bigger and bold and automatically update all new documents. And if you want spacing before and spacing afterwards, like you do get at default when you when you use one of these preset um, styles, they have spacing before and spacing after. So I'll do that on this one. Let's just go for 12. And we don't need it indented or anything. You might want it to be double line spaces or whatever, but I'm going to leave all that. Just leave it like that. And then click OK. And it's on new documents so I'll click OK to that so now you can see that that gap is there and that style is on the top there now if I come down here that's normal if I type Steve it's normal if I want this style it's there I type Steve space so it stays there because I've got auto text for Steve now it's still on that style so you have to knock it back to normal in this example if I select heading 2 and type Steve space press enter it automatically goes back to normal I could have set that up to be honest on these styles now if I if I close this for a second and get myself a new document control N the style I created through the drop down there is sax and it's sitting there but Steve is not sitting there and that's because I didn't tick Steve to be there so now it's appeared if I go and modify it needs to automatically update and be sitting on this template based on this template click OK to that so if I just do that again control N new so it's now sitting there all the time when you go into modify if you make sure it automatically updates and it's ticked onto that it will sit in this this box so just to recap that so you can create a style by typing the style that you want on there so I'll just do a different color for this one so blue make it bold and underline and then you can select that to be a new style create a style call that test okay now test because I've done it like that and I haven't ticked anything so if I just go control N it's not there if I delete that a minute, I need to modify that and just tick automatically update and that option. Now if I do control N and test should appear in this list. There it is. Okay, so that was the quick way of doing it, but you've got to be careful there. I suppose the danger there is that it's not going to be on new documents, so you think you're doing a quick way of uh, doing a style goes up there in this document but if you don't then go in to modify it um, and tick this option it's not going to appear all the time but when you select this drop down arrow and create through the A plus when you do this it will appear as that as that one does so to get rid of these you can remove remove just clear them off and test remove I don't want them in there in the style gallery they're still there um, to get rid of them all together you need to delete them in this box so if I get rid of that I'll get rid of this one delete test yep and delete Steve yep okay so that's just basically how you can add your own styles into this gallery or use a, a style from this gallery and how to modify them, the preset ones, and how to delete the ones that you've done. I wouldn't recommend that you go through this list and delete all these. Sometimes you do get documents with lots and lots of pre preloaded styles plus lots of um, edited styles that people have done and it can be a bit over, overwhelming in terms of numbers of styles but remember you've got options where you can just change this knock that off put that on or that on and then you don't have so many to look through so that's all I want to talk about on this particular video so hopefully that was of use to you thank you for your time and I'll see you on the next one